Okay, what the heck is polarity in AC current? Well, AC current is different than DC because DC has a positive and it has a negative. AC switches positive and negative 120 times a second, at least in the US. Uh, so how can you get polarity out of this? Well, there is actually a polarity to AC. Now, I'm only dealing with 120 here. Okay, here's your standard 15 amp outlet. Okay, if you look close at this, you'll see there's a big slot and a little slot. And then there's a D slot. When I go to plug in something here, okay, here's my happy little grounded cord, and I plug it in, and it fits right in. It just goes right in, okay? Now, both of the male ends of this are the same size, but it'll only go in one way because of this ground. Now, if you try to put it in this way, it doesn't go, and so on. And so, uh, if you want it to go on opposite, I guess you can cut off the ground. Uh, <laughs> don't advocate cutting off ground, guys. Not a good idea. Okay, so it automatically fits. Okay, here's another one. This is a double insulated tool. It does not require grounding. So, the tangs are different sizes. You can see those tanks are different sizes, so they will only fit in one way. Okay. Now we come to the wire. Now that's a little piece of 12-tooth uh, ground Romex. Uh, got a black, got a white, got a bear. That could also be a green coated wire. Uh, the bare one. That would mean it's a ground. This is hot. This is neutral. When you, uh, let's say I hooked them up backwards in this outlet, and then I plugged in a power tool and started the power tool, would it kick the breaker? No. No, it won't. But the polarity is reversed. The appliance would run if I reverse these two. However, what if I hooked up a newer furnace? That means a furnace made anywhere from about 1987 on. Why does that mean a lot to a gas furnace? Because when the gas furnace proves flame, it proves it through a flame rod. Now here I have a little flame rod. Okay, this is an electronic circuit. This actually feeds AC power into this wire. And of course it doesn't go any place because the flame rod is just sitting in the flame. That's why they call it flame rod. But flame will rectify AC to DC. So I feed AC into this thing. The power comes up here, goes through the flame to the chassis or the body of the furnace. Okay, if it turns it to DC, because the flame will rectify the current, if it turns it to DC, then it says, yes, we have a flame. Well, when the hot lead coming in to the appliance is backwards, then it's trying to feed power from the chassis of the the furnace back through the flame rod. Now that makes sense. Uh, let me grab a burner. So if I all of a sudden made uh, the hot wire, the white as it went into the furnace, then I am essentially reversing this whole thing here. Then I'm feeding AC volts from here to 
the flame rod, and the flame rod is getting the rectified current back. But that makes it backwards, and it doesn't rectify the correct way. It rectifies opposite. So the board sees it and says, this is done, I'm not starting anymore. So you'll get a, oh, four to seven seconds trial for ignition, and it'll just shut off. Your polarity is reversed. If you reverse your two wires coming into the furnace, it will fix it. Okay, also, if you have other loads in your panel, that are on that same leg as the furnace and there's a problem in them. If there's something that has gotten reversed there, occasionally it'll come back and shut the furnace off. And it, your polarity will read correctly when you do this. When you, when you look at this, when you look at your polarity at the furnace, it will read normal. But when that load comes on, you're probably not going to see it on your meter, but if you had an oscilloscope, there would be spikes. The spikes are backwards electricity, surges of electricity, and other things. And they're going to come back to this thing and upset that reading and shut it down. So can you have uh, a good circuit with the correct polarity and still have it uh, kick off? Sometimes it's true. Sometimes you'll have to remove some of your loads off of that leg of the incoming power to see if any of them are causing a problem. But nine times out of ten, if your furnace will not light and you just wired it up, it goes for the four to seven seconds and then shuts down, then you probably have reversed polarity. Take your meter, go from what you think is hot at the furnace, go to the chassis. If you do not read 120 volts, your polarity is reversed. Reverse your polarity, or put your polarity back where it should be, and it'll probably run normally. Uh, it does make a difference in these furnaces. Uh, they won't run. We found that out back in the 80s. Everybody was putting this stuff together, and some of them were putting them with reverse polarity and the like, and we're going, well, why does this thing not work? And we find out, oops, the polarity is reversed. So, that is reverse polarity on the newer gas furnace.